sister and her husband. I'm so wave at the people. These are my friends. Personalities is my little store here in Chicago. And, 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 and two, my, my friend, oh my God. Sister, I, I, you don't know how you are in my spirit and the Lord has a word for you, a personal word for you. I, I can't shake you, I, I can't shake you. And, and I'm telling you, I, and I really didn't, didn't know that, that the Williams clan was going to be here, but we honor God for you all tonight, amen. And to the pastor of this wonderful church, man of God, woman of God, I don't know where your wife is, but man of God, God bless you, woman of God. God bless you, man of God. Thank you so much for honoring my sister tonight and allowing her to have her conference here. And to my, to my good girlfriend back in the day when we was just teenagers and all of that, Janet Harris Sutton, the radio, the radio host of the century. Ain't nobody better than she is. Somebody give her a good God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Not in this I was going to, I was going to try to sing, but hour is far spent, so I'm going to just move on. Thank you so much, musicians. I want to get to what God is saying, and I want to hear what the Lord is saying to us tonight. My God, my God, my God, my God. You know, this conference, this conference, I'm going to use these. I've been coming to the Goshen Conference for three years. For three years. And I, I, I don't come because Pastor Samantha is my is my sister, I, 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 because I've told her no many times. When she's asked me to come and do things, I've said no. And um, so I know that when I accept the invitation, it is the Lord. It is God. But this time, the Lord arrested me in a way like he has never before. And, and I mean other than me preaching on the platforms of Bishop T.D. Jakes and Rob Parsley, when the Lord would, would emphatically send me on consecrations because he wanted me to be able to allow the anointing to fill the building. You know, have you ever gone places and, you know, somebody has preached or whatever and service is over and the people on the front row saying it was powerful and the people on the back row saying it was all right? Because that is a person who accepted an invitation that their anointing could not fill that building. So my father taught me that the bigger the building, you have to fast so that the anointing can reach everybody. Can bounce on the wall and bounce back and bless you too. But this time I was, I was, I was concerned that why is it that the Lord would send me on such an extensive fast for, for just a handful of people. It made no sense to me. It made no sense to me. And I, 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 I'm talking about the, 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 the travailings and the, and the wailings. And the, and the walking the floor and can't sleep. And he said to me, I want to talk to you about about Goshen, and I, I, you know, I, I, I always have called it the Goshen Conference. This time when I, when I looked at some of the, 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 the artwork that she had out, it said the Goshen Experience. And so that started ringing a different way. The Goshen Experience. So where is this place? Where is this, where is this place? So I started reading and it said that, that Apostle Bernice said it was, it's located in Egypt and, and, and it was the only place in all of the kingdoms that had food and prosperity 
in the midst of a famine. And it said people came from everywhere to buy grain and livestock and clothing for themselves. And then it said something that I, that I, that I look, it said, it is a land of preservation. Preservation, uh, which means when you land here, it will keep what belongs to you. It, it, the, the land said, this is what it will do for you if you ever get here. I'm going to need my own usher tonight, I'm telling you. Because I'm, I'm, I told God, you know, tonight you're going to have to do that. I, I, I look cute in these heels, but I'm, I'm coming up out these heels in a minute. Because, honey, I done brought handkerchiefs and prayer shawls and stuff. It, it, it's it's, it's, it's going to be interesting in here tonight. The land that will preserve what the Lord has promised you if you can just get here. So in order to be guaranteed this kind of a promise, you have to go back and look at how all this came to pieces. So let's take a look quick back. The lineage, the lineage, the lineage of, 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 of even the conversation about Goshen. It, it, it starts with Abraham, and, and, and Abraham was, was named Israel, and um, Abraham... Uh, uh, he, you know, he did some foolery, and it was Ishmael, you know, and Isaac. Y'all know how that went. And so then, then Isaac begat uh, Esau and Jacob, and y'all know how that foolishness went too. And then it said here that 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 Isaac uh, loved Esau, uh, and 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 Rebecca loved loved Jacob. So we got some off parenting right there. Good Lord, have mercy. We got, we got, we got mothers and, and, and fathers choosing who they like the best. And then uh, 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 Jacob was named Israel too. And, 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 and he loved Joseph more than all of his sons. Now he ought to, he ought to really had some common sense about that kind of foolery. Because he understood what it felt like. Come on, to be Esau and Jacob and pit against each other. But yet, once again, he chooses and says, but I love Joseph more than all of the rest of the ten of my sons. And so it says here in the text, uh, 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 and I have, to, I have to read the text so that my school, I won't owe them no more money. And they think they just gave me something and take all of my stuff. And Jacob dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger in the land of Canaan. These are the generations of Jacob. And it goes on to read that it was Joseph. Joseph being Joseph, uh, for the sake of time, being 17 years old, a boy was feeding the flock with his brethren, and the lad was with the sons of Bilhal, and with the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives, and Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. Tattletale. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all of his children, because he was the son of his old age. Now Israel decided that, and when his brethren saw, watch this, watch this, he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many colors I didn't heard about this coat for a long time and, there, and, there, and, 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 I, and I have to bring some other dynamics to this story some, some, some things that God dug in me about because I don't believe you ought to preach nothing that God ain't dug in you about I don't, I, that, now that's just my belief because you up here running your mouth because if you have not had an experience with what God is saying to the people come on somebody then you cannot make a deposit in them because it's not spirit to spirit it is head to head which breeds arrogance not an anointing so then he says here, watch this, watch this. He made him a coat 
And then Joseph started dreaming. And he gives him this coat of many colors. And so somebody said, well, what, Dr. Bynum, why do you think, why do you think uh, 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 Jacob gave Joseph this kind of gift? You know, out of all of his sons, why did he love him? Uh, uh, like, like that. What, 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 what kind of character did he have, Kathy? He said, Joseph was sterling in his abilities. He, he was handsome more than the rest of his sons. There was, there was no fault or sin was recorded concerning him. He was compared in some texts likely to Jesus. Watch this. His life was one of character, courage, conviction, commitment, principle. He had integrity and character, discipline. He had a work ethic. But yet a tragedy came to the normalcy of this 17-year-old. Something happened to him and all of his abilities. What was it that happened to him that, 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 that changed his life? He got a coat. Oh, Jesus. He got a coat. And he received this coat from Jacob named Israel. Now, why am I saying this? Because now we're talking about Jacob named Israel. Jacob was renamed Israel. Jacob went from a person to a nation. <laughs> he, 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 he went from being named a person to being named a nation. And now a nation is given a person a coat that symbolizes a nation. Boy, you don't even know what you're wearing. Come on here, somebody. And so for me, this resembles what I call a hybrid blessing. It is a blessing that looks big. It's a false big, which is a big that was genetically induced by a false sense of receiving another man's works, then claiming them as your own. Oh, my God. See... <laughs> This was the thing that, 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 that messed with Satan. Because, because we think Satan is mad because, you know, he, 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 ain't no, he ain't no worshiper no more. You know, we done took his place. But, but, but Satan's problem was what a lot of our problem is. His, his real problem and his real anger is because he's not big anymore. So, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I just walk this word, Kathy? Kathy, you, 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 you're going to be, gonna be my, my, my amen corner. Because, see, one thing I learned about God, he hates giants. Uh -huh. because, 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 because giants don't have no regard for God. Come on, somebody. You will never read in the Bible where a giant loved God. And, and, and watch this. And everywhere you read in the Bible, when a giant stuck his head up, God sent somebody anointed to kill him. Why? Why? Because, because, because the sons of God came down and slept with the daughters of men and they created something that was not organic. See, the Bible said that, that, that Noah was perfect in the sight of God. Not because Noah made a mis never made a mistake. He was perfect because he was not genetically modified. He remained who God had made him to be. I'm not hearing y'all. And too many people are getting off course because I don't like who he made me. So now I want an I wanna, I wanna induced personality. Because I'm after big. Y'all, can I, can, can I just, can I just, can I just walk through this? Can I just walk through this? Because, because, because when you, when you become genetically modified and you're not who God made you and you want to become a giant, these are some of the giant symptoms. You have a heart disease. You have strokes, balance problems. You're braggadocious about your size. How many members I got? How big my church is? What kind of car I drive? He talking in here. You're condescending and you have a sense of motion disturbed. You spin around like vertigo, feeling a faintness, lightheadedness, can't walk in elevated places. You are rejected in those places because you think you're more than the people that are inviting you. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You are feeling like you're floating. A, a sensation a, uh -huh. and you don't know which way to go. Your feet won't land. You're dizzy. Your vision changes every time it gets hard. Now God done called you to do something else. Uh -huh. And you done change visions about 50 times in one day. Come on. You're blurring this. Wait, wait, wait. And they live in a place of confusion.
Oh, so, so, Joseph. God, I love you. So, 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 Joseph gets a coat. And so why does he need to be processed? And, and, because he already great. He got his father's favor, and he's already more skilled than his brothers. Wait, 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 wait. But something, but something happens to him because uh, 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 he, don't, he, he don't know what's on his back. And so now the real war, the Lord said to me, and I wrote this down. He said, Juanita, the real war now is not between brothers and the favoritism of a decision of a father. But the real war now, uh, Dr. Samantha, is between now, then, and there. Okay. The real warfare now is between now, then, and, and, and then, then, and, 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 and there. And, and so there, there's a vicious war that's going on because, because now, uh, uh, Apostle Bernice, the now coat has now engaged God in displaying his original intent back then in order to get a people over there. When you get a when you when you when you when you get a coat, when you get a coat, when you get a coat and you don't know the meaning of it, but the coat represents Israel, you get the coat now, but you cause God to start thinking about what he intended for Israel back then. Now he gotta figure out how can I get them over there? You know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even think it was ironic that 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 you know my 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 sound thing didn't make it, and everybody I talked to said they've had some challenges. But ooh, watch this, watch this, watch. So 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 now there's two functionalities that have been that have been provoked here because because now Jacob is 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 he is he is uh, engaging himself in a word called modernity. That's when, when everything they doing now, you know, so, 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 so then when you look at the history of the scripture, when is it, Dr. Valerie, that you can just give somebody something? Because when I remember Jacob, he, he wrestled all night until he became physically disfigured in order to get what he got. Now, 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 when I remember Abraham, Abraham struggled and wrestled with, 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 with his identity. And he, did, he had to walk a walk of faith. Then he had to take his only begotten son. And he had to go up there and sacrifice him and believe God. So now I can see Abraham's wrestle. I can see Jacob's and wrestle. But you just get handed a coat. You have no proof that you struggled for this. You have no proof. I'm not hearing y'all. Where is your scars? Where is your testimony? What have you been through to holler like that? Y'all ain't gonna hear me up in here. Lord have mercy. What have you, oh my God, what have you been through to pick up a microphone, Psalmist Rainer, and rock this whole building? I'm not deceived about that. I'm looking at a woman that's been to hell and back to possess that. So what makes you think we just gonna hand you a microphone because you got a pretty voice? Joseph then was becoming more enamored with being Jacob's son than he was God's servant. Okay. Okay. I'm going somewhere with this, Kathy. So... So, Mother Nichols, <laughs> modernity is, is, is taking over the church because, because now we don't have to fast and, and, and pray and, and you say a shut-in and they bring pillows and covers. 
you know, you say fast and they want to they wanna eat a sandwich. They call it one meal a day and they call it Daniel. You know what I'm saying? But see, I remember 21 days with nothing. Uh -huh, and then you got your first glass of water when the pastor ended the fast. See, y'all don't want to talk to me right there. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Listen, listen. And then we have the audacity to say, oh, look at the world. Uh-uh. It's a these kind. It's a these kind. But God can't find those kind. No, no, no. I'm not hearing y'all. I'm going to say it again. These issues that we have in society is a these kind. These kind come out by fasting and praying. God is looking for those kind. So now you see the wrestle with now. Who we are with our pitiful selves and then who they used to be and there where God is trying to take the church. So, and so there's two contenders in the ring. There's, there, there, there's this, this words that you probably ain't never heard of that he, that he birthed in me for weeks. The, the, watch this, the reflexive R-E-F-L-E-X-I-V-E. -E, the reflexive concern. Uh, the reflexive concern, which is the care, uh, uh, Pastor, and the concern, Kathy, for uh, Sarita, uh, Kamisha, for, for oneself and one's possessions and one's future. <laughs> reflexive concern, is, it means that, you see, there's nothing wrong with being Reflexive, however, the will of God and us begin to go astray when the reflexive concerns become exclusive. Okay, I'm, not, I'm, I'm am I, am I standing in His room by myself? Uh, when they become exclusive, be, 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 because a, a man entirely unconcerned with himself is dead, but a man exclusively concerned with himself is a beast. Okay. No, no, you, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, so, 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 so God can use you. He can use you in the vineyard because he never told animals to go out and compel them to come. So when you are exclusively concerned about you and your future and what God going to do for you. And when my change is coming, you are a beast that is worshiping a God that can never abide in you. No, no, I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I just, I just, I just felt like the church just left the building or something. Uh-huh. A, a, a bunch of, bunch of dogs and cows and, 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 and cats in here talking about hallelujah. No, no, y'all not hearing me. Uh-huh. A bunch of horses and, 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 and sheep and y'all ain't saying that. And, and squirrels and rabbits with your hands up talking about God, I thank you. No, you are under the auspices of reflexive. You are only concerned. Your praise is prejudice. It is only concerned about when I get through, what is he going to do for me? Oh, my God. God, I, uh, I feel the Holy Ghost right there. Uh, when I get through dancing, uh, what, what, in other words, uh, I don't, uh, this generation don't dance for free. Uh-huh, they... They pole dancers in the, in the spirit because they dance so that God can make it rain for them. No, y'all don't want to hear. Come, I, just, I just wish I had somebody in here to talk back to me. Uh -huh. They're prostitutes that praise because, because, because they don't know the God that they are serving and they are under the reflexive curse. They can only praise if you promise me something. So, 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 so then, so then we find, and I'm going to be kind tonight, then we find some of you all uh, that are, that are the transitives, uh, transitiveness, uh, that, that's, that's the two contenders in the room, transitive meaning the care and the concern for others and their future. 
Uh, and the thing about transitivity, it, it causes us to access the state of transcendence. In other words, transcendence will allow us to operate in things that is beyond limitations. In other words, anything you put your mind to do, you will accomplish it and you can never be stopped. Who am I talking to? Oh my God. Uh, God is with you in such a way. Well, wait, 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 wait. Well, here it is. Here it is because the question is on the floor. Well, why? Because I heard the question. I heard the question say, well, why is it my ministry gone? And why is it my business taken off? And why is it that I just keep on praying and I got 15 members and I got 13 members and, and, it, can't, and it can't go anywhere? Because Saturn accepted because you are reflexive. And he, and, he, and he said to me, Juanita, I want, you to, I want you to stop. I want you to stop because I want, I want you to spend the next year and a half really knowing whether or not you are reflexive or transitive. Does what you do is my concern for the future of my people? Or is it only about you? Wait, 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 because I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna help us right now. I'm finna help us. I'm finna, I'm, I'm, I'm. Abraham, Dr. Val is called Israel. It skips Isaac and then it says Jacob is called Israel and they get to Joseph and Joseph is not called Israel He's not called Israel Wait, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go When I tell you this thing cut me open, he said here we go He said he's not called Israel, Sarita who's a Bible scholar, he's not called Israel. He said, because, because first of all, here he goes. Um, his, his father gives him the coat. I named to you all of his characteristics. So his father gives him the coat because of his ability. But as soon as he puts it on him, he turns reflexive. That's why sometimes God can't bless some of us. Because as soon as he blesses you, you turn reflexive. He immediately started talking about who was going to bow down to him. Rather than who was going to bow down to God. No, no, no. Come on, somebody. Um, listen, I just wish I had a church right here. And wait, wait, my, listen, maybe y'all don't want to hear. Let me, let me see who online. Uh-huh, Tiffany Campbell. Yes, ma'am. Tanya O'Daniel. Okay, April Murphy. No, 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 no. As soon as... He gets the coat. He turns important. And he turns important to the point that his gift is aggravating his brethren and he becomes condescending. That's when you know when people got an induced gift. He became condescending because he got the coat because of his ability. So we move it forward. They 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 they, they, they take him and and they they beat him up and they throw him in a pit. Y'all have mercy God. And they and they take his coat. And, 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 and some bandits is coming by and they, and they sell him. And Lord have mercy, Sarita. When I tell y'all this thing made me weep, this thing made me weep. My God, it made me weep. He said they sold him and, and then they took, they took his coat and they, and they cut up an animal and they put the blood on his coat. The one and told the daddy he dead. That's the way I heard that story. Until God said, I want you to go back and read that one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, okay, God. He said, uh, Joseph was in a wrong posture with his new coat. Yeah. 
And he said, go back and read it again. So I went back, Apostle, and I read again. They said, and they took, a, they took a goat, and they cut the goat up, and they put the blood on there. The, and then the Lord said, I want you to look that up. And I started looking. So read, I'm telling you, this thing made me cry. He said, he said, the Levitical priesthood, back then when they wanted to, 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 to get the sins of the people forgiven, they would use two goats. And so, and so, and so God said to me, God said to me that, 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 that the minute, and, and see, they would, they would cut up one goat for the forgiveness of the sin, but they would let the other goat go so that, so that the person can be loosed from what they are going through, from the sin that they've committed. So the Lord said, here we have, we have a goat and a scapegoat. And he said, so, so, so watch this, the minute that they cut the goat, they developed a blood covenant that erased the sin of Joseph and freed him to go on to his process. You y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all ain't hearing this. And when they when he got to when he got to Potiphar's house and the wife lied on him, that's when he took on the coat of his goatness. And he became a scapegoat. And a scapegoat is somebody that accepts the penalty of somebody else and you didn't do nothing wrong. So wait, 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 wait. Because we keep saying now, I done saw the commercial. I saw Adrian's little video. Hey, we go ready. We going to Goshen. We, here we are, man, Jenny Weaver, hey. We, we, we go on the Goshen. So, so somebody, somebody saying, well, don't you want to experience that? The Goshen experience. So, so God said, look, Juanita, there's a, there's a recipe to having the Goshen experience. He said, because the first thing you got to do when you lose your old identity, the one that made you think you were somebody. Because, see, that coat is gone now. And you back to you. Everybody that's propping you up ain't nowhere around now. Everybody that think you so wonderful, they ain't nowhere to be found now. Y'all, y'all, I'm not hearing, I'm not hearing nobody. Everybody, everybody that thought you was something. Everybody that told you, go on and preach, climb them keys. And go on, girl, have it. And God, and God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All them people, all them people, all them people. Because you said you came to this conference for the Goshen experience. And you can't get to Goshen until you first sit in a line. Okay, I'm going I'm to I'm come over here. Give me some over here. You got you to gotta, you gotta first sit in a lie and look like a lie. You got, I, I, I can't get nobody to talk to me tonight. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. You got you to gotta, you gotta sit in the lie and you got to shut your mouth because everybody got to believe that it's a lie because... That's part of your new coat. Now, I know you don't want to go without no sleeves. We got to make the whole coat. All right, so you got you to you sit in that lie. And, and you got to sit in a low place. And you got to let everybody think that you're finished. And you got to let everybody think that you'll never get out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to sit. You got to sit in the lie. Lord have mercy, yes. <laughs> you got you to gotta, you gotta sit in it. And, and, and daddy ain't there. And, 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 and you ain't got your pretty colors of coat. Because watch this. Why don't you have that coat? And why did God let them take that coat? Because you ain't processed to carry Israel. You, 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 you're, not, you're, not, 
And see, I can remember, I can remember, I can remember when I came to this woman of God's ministry. I was 20 years old. And back then I was preaching and crowds was coming. And I went to her church and ran a revival. And the revival lasted three weeks. And I preached every night. And people were packed all outside. When the revival was over with, they called me in the office the following week. And she said to me, she said, you a powerful preacher. She said, the hand of God is on your life. She said, but we want you to do us a favor. And they said, they said, will you come and sit under this ministry? And I said, I said, yes. And they said, well, if the answer is yes, then give us your black book. And we want to call all of these pastors and tell them, you don't preach no more. And they sat me down for nine years. Oh, no, no, no. See, y'all don't want to hear that because somebody sit you down now and they jealous of you and they trying to stifle your ministry and, and they don't want you to go nowhere. And they, and they this and they, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Listen, listen. For nine years, they dug in me. For nine years, uh, they birthed me out. For nine years, they found every damnable thing uh, that she said the anointing covered. Uh -huh. For now, I had to give up my coat. Uh, you don't hear me. I had to give up my preacher's coat and turn into just a beautician. Uh, a beautician with no ministry. He sits in the lie, and some of us sit in, sit in the false humility of what we're dealing with. You ain't broken. You ain't broken yet. And God had to process this man. And God allowed, watch this, he gets down there in jail. And here it is, here it is. Here we go again, here we go again. And somebody see his ability. And they stand him up, bound up, to lead people bound up. Because there's some people that'll let you lead bound up. Because they see that you have the ability to do it. They'll let you preach and you bound up. Come on here, somebody. They'll let you prophesy bound up. I'm not hearing y'all talk back to me. Ain't nobody in this church. Maybe I'm here by myself. They will let you lead their worship team bound up. Why? Because they need your ability. They can't afford to process you because they'll lose members. They're afraid to sit you down because they'll lose offerings. And so they'll stand you up and give you their coat. Wait, wait, wait. And God said, see, you still ain't got it because really what you should have said, the jail man, God got me down here. I can't be no leader. Because I'm really messed up. But he didn't. So the Lord said, oh, you, try, you still? I need you to go to Goshen because your now coat involved me in my then. And I'm trying to get a people to there. So I got to use you. So you going to still do that? Okay. So let me let your prophetic gift come alive while you down here in the pit. Let me let you, let me, let me let you be accurate with a wrong spirit. So the people can say, oh, you so powerful. Oh, you so anointed. Honey, that was spot on. That was spot on. And he said, go ahead, go ahead, prophesy. So he prophesied to the baker, said, you're going to die. Okay, you're on. And he prophesied to the cupbearer, and he said, but you're going to be restored. And God, still trying to develop him another coat, let the cupbearer leave out of jail 
and forget about him. So that's when you know that you ain't purged yet when you start saying, and all I did for them, and I, I paid their bills, and I paid their rent, and I, you know what, and I prophesied to their kids, and, and I came and helped them, and, and when they was going through their divorce, I walked them through that, and when their relatives died, I was there for them, and I'm the one that gave them a word. And now they over at Tuki Wookie's church and acting like I don't exist. When we the one that struggled and we're the ones that helped them out and we're the one that paid their bills and bought them a car and now they go act like they don't know us no you still trying to you still trying to find that coat you still want that coat of many colors you don't want to accept that God done set you down oh my God you don't want to accept, watch this, you don't want to accept that God has set you down because you're his choice to lead his people over there. I'm not hearing y'all. But see, over there, over there is too far in the distance. And I need some self-gratification right now. I need you to, I need to be pumped up right now. I need to be told how wonderful I am right now. So guess what? The man left on out of there and left him there two more years. And you down there and ain't no baker down there and ain't no cup bearer down here. It's you and God. And all of a sudden, here it goes. Here, here it is. Transitive, transitive. I'm, I close with this. Transitive. He go, he's, he's converted. From reflexive to transitive. How do I know that? How do I know he was converted? How do I know that? Because when the, when the conversion, Mother Nichols, take place, and, 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 and some as you will, we, 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 go from, we go from reflexive to, 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 to transitive. How do we know that we are there? Because in that time of the transition, a people will call for you and not a person. You still stuck because you ain't got no people calling. God need to send somebody to his people. Not to a person. So when the process was finished, God allowed the king to have a dream about a people. <laughs> y'all ain't saying nothing. And then the king said, wait a minute, I, I'm calling for all the musicians and all these people, and I can't nobody tell me the dream. And then the cupbearer says, the cupbearer says, I know a man, watch this, Adrian, I, I know a man, I, I'm so sorry, he, he was in jail with me. And, and, and listen, it, it said, and, 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 and we, we had dreams, me and the baker, and he prophesied to us, and what he prophesied to us was the truth. And, and, and the king said, the king said, well, well go get him. So they, they run down there and they get, they get Joseph, uh, Pastor Sam, they get Joseph, uh, Pastor Williams, and, 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 and he comes up there and, and, and listen at his conversation. Now, you can tell when people are transitive now because the king said, the, 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 the king said, uh, uh, I had a dream. And, I, and do you think you could, you, could, you could tell me what the dream said? And his words in the text said, no, I can't. He said, well, what, what you mean? No, you, because the man said that you, you interpret their dream. And then he, and in the spirit realm, I heard him say in the spirit realm, but I've been down here two years by myself and I done learned that it ain't me, it's God. So no, I can't. I, I can't. He said, but I believe that if I seek the Lord, the Lord will give it to you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And that's what, that's what I was taught. That's what I was taught. I was taught 
to say the Lord said who am I talking to oh y'all ain't saying that the Lord used me to do X Y and Z the Lord used me to raise the offering the Lord used me to preach it ain't no I preached and I prayed and I prophesied the Lord led me to do it because I've been converted You can tell them people that ain't been converted because everything is I, 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 I. And that's why God got to send you to jail. He got to put you in your own prison. He got to put you in the prison of your own mind. Until you say, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would I be? He said, he said, I believe if I seek the Lord, the Lord will give the interpretation to your dream. Oh, majesty, y'all ain't saying that the, the Lord going to do it. And when the Lord, when he went back to seek the Lord, it wasn't no, but I see and I sense, no, uh-uh. Because if I start doing that, I'm going back to dig up my old coat. I can't do that. If anybody noticed that read your Bible, the text never mentioned that coat again. It never talked about that coat again. Because he wants us to know that the code is not important. Oh my God. The code is not important. He wants us to know that I'm ready to shoot you to places that you ain't never been before. Watch this. If you make the decision that it's for my people and not for you. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't get nobody to talk back to me. He said, if you decide, because he told me, watch this, he said, he said, watch this, he said, when he went and sought the Lord, and he interpreted the dream, watch this, when, 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 when the king called him out of the prison to come and give him an interpretation about what was going to happen in the land, watch this, God was concerned about that because, because the famine was in the land, and, and, and Jacob and, and, and his brothers and, and, and other parts of Israel, about 70 of them, they, they, were, they, were, they, were, they were back there, and so he was like no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute it, the Bible said when, the, when he called him up, he, when he sent for him for the dream, it said these words and it shook me to my core he said, and immediately he came out of jail Well, Lord, how long is it going to be before, before you give me my breakthrough? He said, the minute you decide it's for me and not for you, immediately. No, no, no. See, I don't, I don't want to hear nobody. I don't want to hear nobody give God a half break. Uh, I don't want to hear nobody give God a half break. He said, immediately. He said, things that you have been praying for, for years. Uh, things you have been fasting for, for years. Uh, this is the mystery uh, and this is the answer that the minute it is for my people, I will release it. to help you with something I'm, be, I'm going to help you with something that's going to bless you and I close with this I close with this he said to him look at this mother Nicholson he said to him I'm going to I'm going to take my ring off and you're going to be second in command yeah, y'all ain't saying nothing to me now this right here getting ready to hurt your feelings. God stood him up in power and authority in Egyptian clothes.
because the real calling the real calling the real calling of authority wasn't to the church it was to nations and he said when you get out of the religious system in your mind I can stand you up in the world y'all y'all are y'all hearing this I so so in other words if you were to walk through the city and you would see him you would you would you would think he was an Egyptian but the king said the reason why I'm gonna sit you in this position the reason why I'm gonna do this the text says this exactly the reason why I'm gonna sit you this high is because I sense that God is in you doing this for you because wait 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 y'all going somebody gonna get mad somebody gonna get mad sis because that's the word he had for you the Lord said I'm not calling you to change nothing because I want to use you just like you are he said I'm not calling you I ain't calling you to put on no long white dress I ain't calling you I'm not calling you to look like the people of old because what I am doing in you and the people that I'm calling you to they are the people that are over there yo yo come on here I'm not hearing nobody talk to me who is God speaking to and so so he starts telling me he starts telling me he said many people he said many people want either they think that they got to go on a long fast and they think that they got to that they got to lay down and pray for days and days and days he said, and they think that they gotta look like they in sackcloth and ashes. And he said, and it's simple. He said, I just need one person to say, it's for your people, God. The building that I want you to give me is for your people, God. Not so they can look at me and say, Oh, did you see that new building they got? Honey, it is bad as I don't know what. Did you see they new TV screens? No, God, I don't need you to give us TV screens for, for your people, God. I need you to I need you to give us a church van for your people, God. I need you to I need you to open up a door for television for your people. Let me help y'all with something. I've been believing God for 25 plus years to go on Daystar. I have gone every year, sometime twice a year in the last 25 years and preached and preached all of their, all of their sherathons. And the answer was no, 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 no. But when he gave me this text and I said, God, it's for your people. I will, I will sit there for your people. I got the phone call that says uh, a five day a week spot just opened up for you. And we honor to have you. Y'all come, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. Because, because we are, we are, we are, we are, re, we are, we are reflective. We are reflective. And we can't get beyond, we can't get beyond what I need. And we can't get beyond what I got to have and we can't and I'm, I'm gonna say something right here and we can't get beyond honey if they see me driving that they gonna know he blessed me now what they gonna say no 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 we can't y'all ain't like it me you can't we can't we can't get beyond we can't get beyond and when I do this it's gonna look like this and when he give me this it's gonna look like that so 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 now you becoming a hybrid a hybrid Christian now now you want another image now see the reason why God told me that he saved Noah he said the reason why he I saved Noah because Noah remained organic I, I, and he said and you know why I saved him I said no he said because his care and his burden was for the future of the gospel I, I said out of all the people in the whole wide world and you just wiped out the world and you just said he said because he was the only one that was concerned about what would happen to the gospel oh my god no 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 you concerned about your image uh, you concerned about what they say he said but the minute somebody in here become concerned about the gospel and i told the lord i told the lord i told him i said no more i don't want to preach anymore for an offering not another time not another time oh, now, freely you've given it to me freely i receive it freely i give it I said, I want, I want to be free to preach the gospel. I want to be free not to turn my message so I can work the offering in. Y'all don't, don't want to hear what I'm saying. Don't nobody want to hear this. Don't nobody want to hear this. I want to be free. And so, he, and so he brought me out of debt. 
so I can come and preach. And I don't need an offering, but I came to sow. I came to sow. He given me a seed to sow, and I came to sow my 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 three thousand three hundred and thirty three dollars and my thirty three cents. I, I I didn't because well, watch this because oh my God. He said, because it's, it, it's not ironic that you're here. It, it's not ironic that Sister Nicholas Shaw is here. It, it's not ironic that all, all of us is in this building. Because you know what he's saying? He said, the reason why I had to stop, I had to stop Joseph. He said, I had to stop him because it would have been a, 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 a huge tragedy. And I said, God, what do you mean? He said, look up his name. But I looked up his name. His name, his name meant and I will add. His name means increase. So I would have sent somebody unpurged and everywhere he went, it would have been increased because I can't revoke the meaning of his name. So I had to stop him before he increased something that I can't use. I kept reading and I kept reading the pastor and I said well God why why, would, why, why now why, why do I feel something different in this Goshen experience than any other time that I've come and I kept reading Kathy and I thought I was finished and this morning he said look up look up Joseph again and I did and it popped up. Now, I've been, I've been putting the name. What does the name Joseph mean? All these things. But it popped up by itself. And it said, not only, Adrian, does it mean increase. But this going to bless you. It means repeat. Which means I'm going to do it again. Somebody better open up your mouth and get God a praise up in here. Uh -huh. I'm going to do it. Again, Mother Nichols, show what you have poured into me. God is going to use you to do it again in the lives of other women. Somebody give God a shout. Somebody give God a shout. your beginning of your repeat. Turn him up. I'm getting ready to share something with y'all. He said, Pastor, I don't know where the pastor went. Pastor's wife, that's okay, you here. You don't know where we are. My sister, I was praying some 20 some years ago and asking God to deliver her and she was a crackhead that one right there turning tricks y'all ain't ready for this this is the building she used to get high in and turn tricks and the Lord said a repeat no you better give God a praise up in here I don't know what you came in here looking for, but God said you're standing on the ground of deliverance. You better give God a shout. I said shout. I said shout. She used to smoke crack in this building. She used to turn tricks in this building. Now she prays in God. Just like, oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. Everything you've been waiting on, the Lord is releasing it right now. Put the music in here. Somebody shout in here. You're watching my internet. You're watching my Facebook. Your deliverance is coming out of this building into your house now. Somebody get God a shout. The 
somebody. Y'all waiting. I just heard this in the Holy Ghost. They standing by. Because they're waiting. To help you up. And God said get up. Get up on your own strength. He said you don't need no more help. I'm sending you back out into the field. Naomi and Ruth. The Ruths are waiting for you, Naomi. Somebody give God a shout. Somebody give God a shout. I don't think you believe it. But while you're shouting, everything is great. While you're shouting, everything is breaking. While you're shouting, it's being loosed by the power of the living God. No more delays. No more waiting. Shout! God is for your people. God is for your people. God, I want it for your people. God, I'll do it for your people. Oh, somebody give it to him. Give him what's to his name.
you saying, I wish God let her pray for me. Let her give me a prayer, y'all. And the Lord would have me to say to you <laughs> that tonight he ushers you prophetically into not just the name but the anointing of Goshen and he said tonight tonight I didn't understand why they made my dress too big after I went for a fitting they made it too big and I had to get a brooch and pull it together and I said God that makes no sense to me and the Lord said because it's not your dress he said after you preach this word tonight you will present it to her and you will stand up on platforms that is going to blow your mind for tonight the Lord sends you to nations I wish I had somebody tonight your ministry your ministry he said is your mission <laughs> he said I want you to see it as a mission because you'll come back and be revealed in private while I take you to the world and they would say who is that white woman but the Lord said the reason why the warfare has been heavy it's because tonight you receive the anointing of Goshen. The anointing of Goshen. I want somebody to repeat who? Go. Well, run back there and look in my pool case and get my prayer shawl out of there. It's in a velvet bag. I want you to lay your hands on yourself. Lay your hands on yourself and say, I got to have the Goshen anointing. Or the church won't have a future. I, I got to have the Goshen anointing. Or the church won't have a future. I, I gotta get this anointing and the recipe is this repeat after me brokenness embarrassment depopulation humility lies shame I must be a scapegoat I must go as a living sacrifice for now the goat the coat that was placed upon me 
is now in me. It's called tonight the goat's coat. And I close, I close with this. Jacob begged his children, don't leave my bones in Egypt. And then Joseph begged his brothers, don't leave my bones in Egypt. You cannot have a reflexive spirit. Now this is going to bless you. This is going to bless you, Dr. Val. You cannot possess a reflective spirit because you're going to have to carry bones. I found out that when a person dies and the, and the skin falls from their bones, I found out that inside of the bone marrow, it's still alive. So the bones are of the living dead. They're dead, but yet their DNA is still alive. That's why when they threw the dead man in on Elisha's bones, he revived him. So what am I saying? Tonight, I decree death over my flesh. Because the Lord, he speaks from heaven. And he says, the only people that's going to get the ghosting experience is those that go in with only remains. I don't want, I don't want your music. <laughs> I don't want your preaching. I don't want your singing. I don't want your dancing. I want your remains because I got to be sure that when you get there, it ain't nothing left to fight me. Then and only then. Will you become a people? Come here, Roshona. A divine repeat. This one is mine. Everybody in this building, he said a repeat. Yes, Lord, I hear you. He said, it feels good, Apostle Williams, to be able to prophesy with no motive. He said, some people in here missed some opportunities. They miss some opportunities because of not only bad decisions, but listening to the wrong people. And the Lord said tonight, 
I just heard this like this. I'm going to restore the door. I'm going to. I'm going to restore the door. I'm going to give you another chance to go in it. I'm going to do it. When I told God I would do this, and I told God, no, nope, I don't want to preach like that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to preach like that. God start causing people to sow to me in the sums of over four million dollars in one year. He said, I got a people that you don't know nothing about. I'm just waiting for you. I'm just waiting for you to say it's for your people. So like the children of Israel, when they got to Goshen, somebody said, well, why are you making us praise God like this? Because the Bible said, Pastor Samantha, this is going to bless you. Dr. Val, I know this is going to bless you. The Bible said that there was some little discrepancy between Jacob and Judah. And Jacob had to make up with his praise. See, I can't get y'all to say nothing. Some of y'all is estranged with your praise. That's why when I said praise the Lord tonight, some of y'all, hallelujah, you got to make up with your praise. I can't. I dare you to give him a makeup praise right now. I dare you watch it by Facebook. I dare you give God a makeup praise. I'm praising you. I don't want nothing but to make up with my praise. I want to praise him like I did when I first got saved. Can I get somebody to praise him like that? said I want I want that makeup praise that you used to give me before you ever became an evangelist before you ever became a preacher before you ever became a pastor before they ever recognized your prophetic gift when you were just sister Alicia when you were just sister Sam when you were just Val, when you were just Sister Nichols in Port Huron, in a city nobody never heard of. When you were just Kathy, just coming off a crack. I'm gonna mess with her now. When you were just Sarita, with the long black skirt and the bun in the back of your head. He said, that's the kind of praise in here I want. I want that kind of praise where you strip off that coat and for 30 seconds I want you to make up with me I want you to make up with me somebody open up your mouth and give him a praise somebody give him a wake up praise give him a wake up praise Hey! 
I say it. And we just went up in the worship just then. Stay there. He said, if you double it, I'll show you a miracle. He said, if you double it, I'll show you a miracle. He said, the heavens are open in this building. He said, instead of $3,333.33, I want you to sow $6,666.66. He said, the heavens are open. It's gone out of my bank account. And I'm not one of these people that say one thing and then get in the back. Because I came here with money in every bank account. I'm not and he said to me, there are 12 people in this building that tonight if you sow $1,333.33 I'm going to show you a miracle so I ask you what is my motive for saying that give me 12 envelopes right now he said 12 people run up here right now he said, if you sow it tonight, oh my what is my motive? Give me some more envelopes and overflow just hit this building. What is my motive? I don't have one. I don't have one. If you sow $1,333.33, he showed me during a time of consecration that the number three was a three of activation. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, morning, noon, and night, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the number three. And my workers can tell you, I don't care where I am, if I happen to look at the clock and the clock said 333, three, three, I stop where I am, don't I? And I lift my hands up and I said, everything that you promised, let it be activated now. And everybody in this room, everybody in this room, yeah, 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 he said, there are people in this room. You need to sow $333.33. Run up here right now, right now. Right now, what is my motive? I don't have one. I don't have one. I've given the biggest seed tonight. I don't have a motive. Twenty-one days. Whoever has everybody that's remaining, he said. So thirty-three dollars and thirty-three cents. Come now. Come now. He said the heavens are open. The heavens are open. You watching by internet? Obey God. You already know your grave. I don't have a motive. But I'm telling you that God gave me to do it for you. Because you have decided while watching tonight that God, I'm going to do it for your people. Whatever you bless me with, I'm going to bless your people. Whatever you give me, I'm a gift to people. Whatever door you open for me, I'm a help get that door open for people. 
I don't have a motive. I don't have a motive. I waited for this day. I prayed for this day. I lived for this day. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. When I would be able to preach for free, I knew it was coming. Oh, bah, 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 bah. He gonna free some ministries up in here. He gonna hold. He said from tonight on, let your giving be in three. If God leads you to sow something to somebody, let it be in three. A hundred and thirty-three dollars. Two hundred and thirty-three dollars. Three hundred and thirty-three. Thirty-three dollars. Three dollars and three cents. Let it be in threes and watch and see what God does. Activate your giving. Activate your giving. Go back. Get it out of the box to you. Go out of the box to you. I don't have a motive. I need to I Oh, my God. 